just on It's funny, it. right? It's just, just on <laughs> June, what are you doing back so early? Who's that? Isabel, this is my wife, June. June, this is Isabel. Hi. <laughs> this is <laughs> insane. Relax, calm down. Look, why don't you just shut your mouth and listen to me for a second, all right? That's my role. You said you'll be back by seven. What time is it? It's not even 5.30, it's not even half past six, what? right? Why are you back so early? You know what? Just pick your stuff up and and get lost for a couple of hours, all right? You have a 10 seconds to disappear, honey. You heard her. <laughs> but wait. Time's up. Oh, God. You're still here? Oh, God. Stupid. Unbelievable. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Leaving you. Leaving me? And where exactly are you going? To your godforsaken town where I saved you from? Or to your mother? Oh, which is not with us anymore. I know it. You are going to your friends, which I highly doubt you have any. Nobody wants you. Nobody. And the car that you have, I'm gonna block it. Without me, you're gonna be nothing. Live in me, you're living my money. So I guess you are gonna end up under a bridge. Desperately looking for a job with people that surround you and will take pity your situation, which I believe it's going to go from bad to worse. Trust me. So, if you want to leave, be my guest. <laughs> Hello to the wife. Sweetheart, how you doing? Hi, June. Babe, where are your manners, huh? Say hello to our guest. I see. Yeah, let's have a seat. Set the table for three, please. I mean, and then I tell him, you better read it before you raise your voice at me, Mr. Lambert. You should have seen his reaction. <laughs> when he saw what was in it, Amazing. What were there? Well, the less you know, the better for you, sweetheart. You know, I got him by the gills so bad. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? And he just turned around, he went silent, and just went off. Mm. <laughs> You're so dangerous man, Mr. Boots. <laughs> you bet I am. And you better recognize it. Mm. You know what? Ladies, I've been thinking. We are having a great time, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. Then, we should do this more often. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, babe? I mean, you should move in. What? Ah, we have a spectator. What, do you have a problem? That's what I thought. Now, what do you say, babe? What should I say? <sighs> will you help me move my stuff? Of course I will. <laughs> Why not? No, no, Mrs. Boots. I'm sorry, I cannot take your case. But, but why? Uh 
She's got another woman in our house. Do you know what your husband does, Mrs. Boots? Your husband is a very, very powerful man. Very powerful and very dangerous. What? Um, you know, I should really contact him and tell him that uh, I'm talking to you, but I'm not going to because I really sympathize with your situation, okay? But I gotta go, all right? Um. <clears throat> what, what should we do then? Well, we need something more, something bigger. Uh, against a guy like this, you need some serious weapons, okay? Gotta go. All right. I'm making coffee. You want some? Yeah. Why not? Great. That's my cape, right? Uh, yeah. It is. This is gonna rain. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. Sit down. I hope it's not poisoned. Honey. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. If you live with Frank for a year, you'll learn how to make the same. <laughs> I don't like brewing coffee. It doesn't matter. He'll make you love so, it. So, um... What is all about? Right. Let's not beat around the bush. I know exactly why you're with Frank. Mm. And what is that? Money. <laughs> you won't deny it. But you know it won't last long. Frank loves me. <laughs> Frank loves only himself, girl. Believe me. He loves nothing else but himself and maybe order at home. Everything else is just temporary fun for him. Okay. What's next? Do you want to tell me some scary stories or propose something? Help me. Help me and I'll make you really rich. I don't need his money, I want only his head and if you help me to win. We'll split everything I got from him, 50-50. 70-30. And I mean... <laughs> you don't give up that easily, right? Okay, deal. Okay. So, uh, what do I need to do? Well, ladies, how was your day today? Oh, I miss you, Frankie. No. I can't be without you for a long time, you know that. I missed you too, but that's my job. What can I do? Yeah, then maybe I should be there too. What do you mean? Take me with you as a secretary. Hmm. I will walk around with a smart look. I will dress strictly and provocatively that everyone will look at me and understand that I'm with you. That's interesting. That's very interesting, but... Why would I want to do that? Oh my God, just imagine how many things we could do on your workplace. Well, in that case, I'll see you tomorrow at the office for an interview. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yes, we will enter into a contract with them only according to our plan, right? And our conditions. I mean, of course they're stolen. They have to be. 
We put them in that position like on purpose. We've done this like a thousand times. Stop worrying. All right? That's right. Yeah. All right, call me back when you're ready. Good, bye. Hi, Kitty Pie. What are you doing here? Surprise. <laughs> Great. Yep. I love surprises. Oh, I like it too. Does it look like a weapon? Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Can we do something about it? <laughs> Not just anything. We can do everything. We can destroy him. Mr. Boots, Lieutenant Gregory Sharp. I'm gonna have to ask you to come with us. Really? Why should I come with you? What are you doing here, and Cover. What's going on in my office, huh? It's not your office anymore, Frankie. Oh. What? Mr. Boots, you've been charged with financial fraud. Anything you say could be used against you in a court of law. This is a joke, right? This is a joke. They're actors. You're pranking me. I didn't do anything. June, tell them I didn't do anything. June, tell them I didn't do anything. Isabel, say something. I'm sorry, Kitty. It's nothing personal. <sighs> I really had a good time with you. Sometimes. <sighs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. June, you cannot do this to me. Come on, I'm begging you. Can I go to jail? <gasps> you. That's it, take it. <clears throat> Ladies. Awesome. Such a scene right there. It's very beautiful. So, uh, what about the money? Any cash, please? Oh. Yes, there it is. What are you, debt? Why, honey? That's what you deserve. What? You're fake, and that's fake money. No need to count, it's all there. But what? Did you really think that a woman who's willing to seduce a man, a married man, in front of his wife, deserves better? But this. You have 10 seconds to disappear. What? Uh, wait. Time's up. <sighs> hey, sir. Sir, are you all right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing blocking hallways here, people? I can't feel my legs and my, my arm, it's numb. Help me, help me, help me, please, please. Whoa, whoa, please. Whoa. He's not, he's not well. He can barely stand. Wheel that guy out of here and tell the attendant to air out that room because that guy stinks. I am done talking. Now go. 